Time for our fourth number, and here to generate it from Los Angeles with an amazing psychological mystery, Max Maven! <laughs> We are going to try an experiment in the power of suggestion, and for this I'll invite Emma to join along. But we'll also make use of all of the people here in the studio audience, and you at home as well. So please listen very carefully and do exactly as I say. Would you each extend your right hand, everyone? If you're confused, that's the one on this side. <laughs> Good. Extend your right thumb. <laughs> extend your right forefinger. Excellent. Make a circle of the thumb and forefinger and touch it to your chin. No, that's your cheek. <laughs> well, having established that the power of suggestion <laughs> works, I wish to thank you, Emma, for your participation. It's a and I'm, I'm going to call Philip over to try thank something you. a bit more complex. <laughs> Philip, nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, we've arranged for a more elaborate demonstration, the first part of which involves what's under this cloth. Twelve cards with numbers, one through twelve, and underneath each card, on the other side, is one of the signs of the zodiac. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't put them in the traditional order, and what that means that even if you knew the traditional order, you wouldn't know which one was where. We're going to choose one of these, and in order to do that, we move over here. Take a look at what's under this cloth. Please. Ah, a pair of dice and a dice cup. Because with a pair of dice, you can get up to 12. Yes. So would you please drop the dice into the cup, mix them up, and shake them onto the table. We've got a seven. Mm -hmm. Lucky start. Try it again. I want to make sure that the dice come up different numbers each time. And this time a three. All right, one more time, but this time, whatever the number, that will be the zodiac sign we go for. Seven again. Seven is your choice. Come okay. on over here and let's take a look. Because there are 12 possibilities. And depending on which item, which zodiac sign you've chosen, that will determine what is underneath that cloth. Okay. Because you see, for example, had you chosen four, mm -hmm. no, you didn't, but had you chosen four, that would have been Leo the lion. And we would have a lion underneath that cloth. <laughs> Lucky for me. Yeah. Okay. Or if you'd, uh, if you'd uh, had number two, two is Taurus the bull. And then we'd have to be thinking up beef jokes. <laughs> Then. Well, they're all used up. <laughs> uh, now, for example, down over here, we have uh, Sagittarius, the archer. We'd have an archer underneath there. Over here, one off from what you chose, uh, number eight, Virgo. Could have been a great <laughs> problem. But you chose which one was it? Number seven. seven. Number seven over here. Yeah. The seventh sign is this evening is Pisces, which is the sign of the... The fish? The fish. Precisely. <laughs> suggestion uh, right. in this. If you, if you wander over here for my Michelle. little trick, because this is how we're going to uh, generate a number. I have here our very uh, famous talking telephone numbers, ten sided dice, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pop it in there and ask you please to give it a shake, and All that right. will generate our number. Well, if anyone at home is hoping for a particular digit, this is the time for them to try and influence me. Yep. Will, as hard as you can. And it is a three. A three, will you please thank Max Maven? If you've got Max's three and the three, three and nine we've already generated, then you're over halfway to winning up to seventy-five thousand pounds.